Don't ever change for anybody Don't ever trade your soul Don't even listen to him Welcome So today I'll be making some honey garlic salmon I have my salmon here I have half a teaspoon of paprika I have one teaspoon of onion powder I have one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning and I have one teaspoon of black pepper and these are the rest of the ingredients I have a half a lemon I have some crushed garlic which is four cloves and then I have half a stick of butter I'm gonna put some soy sauce I'm going to use some honey and some red crushed pepper. I am going to start off by mixing all my seasoning together. Now it's time to start seasoning our salmon. So I'm going to start off by just adding just a little bit of oil on my salmon because I want the seasoning to stick on the salmon once I season it. So I have like a tablespoon of oil that I'm going to um, put on each. I'm going to use for both sides of the salmon. So now I'm just going to rub all the oil on the salmon. And now I'm going to add the seasoning mix onto the salmon. Now I'm just going to rub the seasoning onto it. Now I am going to turn it over. And I am using the skinless salmon. I actually bought it with the skin on, but I took it off. Now I'm going to rub the oil over the rest. And I'm going to add the rest of the seasoning. When you put in the seasoning on the salmon, just try to get a little on the sides as well. That's what I'm going in to do right now. Just add in the remainder of seasoning on the side. Okay. So now I am done seasoning my salmon. And guys, I have... This looks like a lot of seasoning on my salmon, but that's the way I like it. I like it to have a lot of seasoning on it. But if you need less seasoning, you could just use half a teaspoon of each of the seasoning that I use. And then that will give you less, you know, less seasoning. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's start cooking. So I have my pot pre-eaten. Now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to add some oil, just enough oil to fry our, my fish on both sides. That's good. Now that my oil has been heated, I am going to add my salmon. Filets. And I am going to allow it to cook on each side for about three minutes. So after cooking the salmon on one side for three minutes, I am going to flip it over. 
flipping it over and I'm going to do the same for the other side. After making my salmon on the other side for the additional three minutes, that's what it looks like. I'm going to remove it from the pot and then I'm going to start making my sauce. Start off by adding half a stick of butter to my pan. I am just going to let this melt. Now that my butter has been melted, or it's melted, I am going to go in and I'm going to add my garlic, which is actually for cloves. Four cloves of minced garlic. So I am just going to saute the garlic for about one to two minutes and then I'm going to start adding the rest of my ingredients. For a little spiciness, I am going to add a half a teaspoon of red crushed pepper flakes. Now I am going to add four teaspoon, four tablespoon of honey. Now I am going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce and I'm also going to go in and add two tablespoon of water. Now I am going to add the juice from my half a lemon and I'm just going to let that, I'm going to let that cook for like a minute. Now I am going to add my salmon back to the pot and, gonna, and I'm going to start adding some of the sauce over the salmon. So I'm going to keep adding the sauce over this for about a minute or two and then I am going to put it in a pan. I'm going to put it in the oven to broil about five minutes on low. So I pour some of the sauce on the salmon before putting it in the oven. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven. And there you have it guys. This is the final product. This is my honey garlic salmon. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.